Hey everybody, it's Mike with Rebound again. I've had a few people ask me how to lace the center part of a double T web. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. This is a CCM E3.5 glove. CCM does all their center tees the same, uh, but different manufacturers do it differently. Brian says it differently than Vaughn than CCM. So when I come across those gloves, I'll, I'll shoot a video and show you how it's done but it's not as difficult as it sounds. It's just a repetitive process all the way down. What you'll need are, is some uh, lacing. This is about, I think it's about 85 inches. This is an intermediate glove. Um, so on larger gloves, a senior glove, you'll need a little bit more than that, but that's a good start. I usually like to keep some needle nose pliers around. You don't have to use lacing needles. The holes are big enough where you can just kind of burn the ends of the laces and poke them through. But I like lacing needles. It just makes it easier and uh, a little bit cleaner. You'll need some kind of uh, burner or, or flame to kind of burn the ends of the lace and then of course scissors for the end. So let me get started. Let me lace the needles really quick and then uh, I'll show you how to start and I'll show you the process and then we'll move all the way down. All right, so I've got the uh, needles all laced up. If you're going to use lace needles for the first time, but you have never inserted the cord in there, I made a video about that, and I will uh, link it to this video. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come from the underside here, and you're going to put one needle through, put the other needle through, try to get the... Pull them both together, get it as even as you can until you are left with a loop. Looks about just like that. It's only coming out like a half inch or three quarters of an inch from the from the top of the, the T-web here. All right, then you are gonna take the lacing on the left side and you're going to pull it down through the loop. Take the lacing that's gonna go on the right side Pull it down through the loop. All right, so now you get it kind of taut. It doesn't have to be super tight, but that's what it looks like from here. All right, and then you take this lacing on the left and from the underneath, from the underside there, you pull it through this hole. Okay, again, not super tight, but you know, get it kind of snug. Same thing with the other side. You pull it through, okay, take some time, make sure everything's kind of lined up here in the center. All right, then we're gonna go back to the right and then you are going to take the needle, you're gonna go underneath this lace you just put there. Sorry, the glove keeps moving around. All right, pull it underneath there. Same thing with the other side. This goes underneath. Okay, so that's what it looks like here. So now from here, you're going to take, it doesn't really matter. I usually go uh, left over right. So left over right once, left over right twice. Separate the cords. Okay, this is a good time to kind of line everything up because you want everything to be centered again. And then we're just going to start that process over. So then we go underneath. Again, okay, get the get the, the intersection there in the center. Okay, good. So there we go, intersections in the center, and then again the same thing. This lacing on the cat's here saying hi. Um, that lacing is going to go underneath. Again, you go underneath pull it taut and then we just repeat this process left over right twice separate the cords and then start again going back underneath kind of get the get the lace that intersection part so it's right at the center. Okay, there you go. That's back at the center. 
And now we go, same thing, under that lace and over, and the other side, sorry, hit the camera there, under the lace and over, one, two, separate the laces. All right, so you're just going to continue this process. It's super easy. You're going to continue it all the way down so you get to the base so I think you get the idea so I'm going to stop the video here and then I'll just show you how to finish it off when we get to the base all right here we are at the base ready to finish it off so we're just going to continue to follow our process here we are going to go here we go under that lace and over the top under and over the top and then left over right one two times up through the hole here. Up through the hole here. Okay, and then again, just kind of align the center part of the lace. And then this is the last one you'll do. So you're actually going to go under the lace and then put it down here through the glove and then same thing on this side we're going to go we're going to go under that lace there put it down through the glove okay so now you've got now you've got both laces there you go both laces underneath and then from there I'll turn the glove over. You'll see there's two holes right here at the base. So I am just gonna take the lace that's on the, I guess it's the right side, put it through that hole there, and then go through the left side. There you go. And then from here, you have, uh, I think originally the glove just had two knots tied right there to keep them go from going through the holes so you can just tie a, a thicker knot to keep them from punching through you can tie the two laces together if that makes you feel more comfortable but after that you just uh once you've made your the knot you prefer cut them off burn the ends and you are ready to go so that's how you relace the center it's it's not nearly as hard as it looks the only thing I would recommend is if it's your first time, take a ton of pictures. Take a pictures of the base, take a pictures of all the lacing, take a pictures, take a picture of, of the top here. And once you get going, you'll easily figure it out and it won't be a problem. I still have to relace the pocket with skate lace. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that. There's at least five or six videos already on YouTube on how to do it. Again, that's super easy. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and uh, thanks for watching our videos.